very unnerving when the rebar moves a little under your feet. Measure twice, cut once. The wool is wobbly, I don't like it. It's covered in little snowballs. Styrofoam. Styrofoam ball. The next phase of our build is foam. The foam acts as a backstop for the shot crete, so it's applied on the inside of the dome. Two layers are used. The outside layer has a film on it that prevents the shot crete from sticking to it, so we can pull it off later. I can't tell you what I paid for that. Yeah, we gotta cut these at 71. Right, you gotta stagger the seams. I'm gonna see if I can hook you up with a nice straight edge to cut some of these okay. pieces. And then there's a second layer behind that to help with rigidity. As we tie the foam to the rebar, it takes the shape of the dome. Later on, the foam will be taken off and used on the outside of the house as insulation. It's a very tedious process and it requires climbing on the outside of the dome and using rebar tie to tie it to the dome. Really thankful that the steel workers have agreed to help us out with this. Very unnerving when the rebar moves a little under your feet. So you just push it through where you think it needs to go and I'll grab a board and put it there. It'll be done soon. Yeah. Richie is cutting up some jiggery pieces. Because remember, this little like four inch jiggery spacer has to go all the way up and around all the, what would you call it, the flat parts of the dome? Yeah, on the facade wall there. <laughs> so we're at it again today. So much <laughs> has been happening. Um, A lot of different directions that we're going, I'm trying to get it smooth order of things but we do have some good news yeah our builder we talked to him and he's going to give us a couple of days and a couple of guys to help us out and they're going to come this week coming up right which is great he can only spare those guys for a couple of days right. so he asked us to do a few things to help make that move along a little bit faster so that's what richie's doing right now he's working on the jiggery it's my own term yeah, jiggery. Richie made that up. 
Uh, we showed you that in another video. And uh, so we're just gonna try to get caught up with that. And we're gonna do just a little bit of first floor. Uh, framing, the second story wall ties into that floor. So we have to get that done. See behind us, the rebar guys were here. They finished all the rebar that they could do on the dome. Right. And then they started the? Foam. Foam, that, that rhymed. <laughs> And that's pretty cool that they're going to do that for us. We're just so happy because they're really good with the wire and the tying and stuff. They will have to do a little bit more rebar. Once the framers finish these facade walls with the backing, we have to put roofing felt on those. Yeah. And then the rebar guys have to come in and put rebar on right. them. But once the foam is done, then we have to put a little bit of electrical stuff on the outside with the smurf whatever you call that smurf tube some <laughs> electrical boxes ent that's the real i don't know when i looked it up and then there's uh something else we have to do by the concrete we have to look at that and read that read up on that really quick too but two inspections a building inspection and i think an electrical inspection right before the shop creek people can come so we're really, you know, things are moving and happening fast and we're busy day and night and we're exhausted. And uh, we got to get busy. Right now. Right now. Hold the trigger first. No, nope. squeeze the trigger first. There you go. I'm now, afraid. You, now bump it. You just bump the whole thing right into the like you got where you want the nail. There you go. See how easy that is? Sit in. You're in. Work your way up. It's all twisted. Go ahead, do another one. Every eight inches or so. 
Okay. See how easy that is? You're on it's your way to. Very now. heavy gun. It's, it's heavy. It feels good in here. Wow. With the foam up? We will not be cold in this house, Richie. <laughs> Just gotta get the flat pieces down first, and then it'll give us the measurement for the slices. They're only putting the blocks in where it's needed, and that's exactly what we wanted. Absolutely. Isn't it hot up there? Very hot. Oh my god. We're in the same position, so it's still your lap. They are putting yeah. the lath on. So the foam is doubled up. I'm gonna put a spacer in this They're side. using rebar with some wood lath to hold it in place. They're taping where necessary, but the tape doesn't really stick well. And we're using these tiny little pieces of foam, like a one inch spacer to keep it spaced out from the house. So this is the wood Good. lath. Just snug. Nice. All right, you can do the other side. And it takes one person on the inside and one person on the outside to get it done. <laughs> 